label the fix pivot here O4, right? And then the point of attachment of the hydraulic actuator should be 0 0.65 times the length of the link AB. So you measure the length of the link AB, which is what? Uh, four centimeters, I think four points. Yeah, four, four centimeters. So four centimeters times uh, 0 0.65. That will be the distance you take from here to here. Okay. And what are you getting? 2.6. 2.6 meters. Which is 2.6. So you will stand here. You will stand here and measure 2.6. 2.6 is here. So this is where your point E will be. E1, E2. It's on the position 2, right? So use your compass to locate the position 1. If you're done at position 1, you look at position 2, isn't it? So this. So you've got in your position 2. E, E1 here. E2 here. I'm getting it. Now the next one is that the longest length, the longest length of the actuator when it's fully extended should be 1.25 times AB. So you get that for us. So 1.25 times 4. That would be what? 5.5. Okay. So we measure 5 centimeters on the straight edge. So from here to here. Okay, so uh, yeah, we are back from the commercial break. I'm from back in the day. So we got five here. We measured five for from here to here to get a um, point of attachment for that situated. Then we drew this right. Now the instruction was like measure uh, the longest length of the actuator when it's fully extended should be one point two five times what AB, which was we calculated as five, right? The first one was the attachment which was 2.6 mm. so what i'm going to do is that if the actuator is here if the actuator is back here it will be fully extended at position one you get that so you measure your five centimeters on the straight edge from here to here is five centimeters then you come to the attachment one and make an arc now you see the arc cut through the box KRST. It's just the space that's inside the box that's uh, the, the actuator is supposed to be attached. So from here to here, on this line, you can attach the actuator at any point. I guess. So I'll just join E1 to any point on that line. Then I'll join E2 to it. Right. That makes sense. So if the actuator extends, it will be here. If it's retracted, it will come up to this point. Okay, yeah, so if we do this, we are done. We are done with the problem. The next one, the next one was to measure, find the, uh, measure the angular rotation of the rocker from position one to position two. So you just want this and this. So I put my protractor here. All right, uh, zero from here. So I have like uh, 87. Mm, 86. Nah, 76, zero. 76, yeah. So, 76. So, theta for, theta for, uh, let me say, for Rocker. Rocker, Twitter, Tango. Oh, no, come on. This is the actual link, Rocker. Oh, okay. Rocker, Rocker. It's what, 76 degrees. Then, uh, for this, it was just that. And then the next was to find the extension of the actuator from position one to position two. Okay, let's, let's run this up. So... So uh, we've done with the actuator. The next thing is to measure the extension. So the extension, you measure the length from here to here. Do it was five centimeters, and then you measure from here to here. So uh, O two. Let's label this as O O two. So yes, where one of the questions you were told to label here as O two. I'm using two questions at the same time. Uh, this one, which is the one on the one he was doing in class, and this is. Uh, the, one of the questions of his mr mr i think assign, assignment question right with this one there were no specifications or constraints with regards to where the actuator should be but with this they were and then uh, you were told here you could see that the fixed pivot for the coupler should be labeled as what go for 
and then this was O2. So you measure O2 E1, which is five centimeters. Then let's measure 